Hello st students, today we will do another topic on letters in continuation with the earlier ch chapter where you had learned the format of a business letter. Now when you are doing your exam, you are taking your exam, you will encounter five types of business letters in the questions. The first and the most important is the letter to the editor. Here, the letter, of the letter to the editor is used to express an opinion in general to specific public and it might be a complaint against a social problem. Remember that it is to be published in the newspaper. Your grammar and punctuation should be very correct. Otherwise, it will not be taken up for publishing. You must in the letter content refer to the situation that you want to be highlighted and if it is a social problem, then list the causes, effects and the solutions that you suggest. That is all the business, the letter format remains the standard business letter format. Then there is a letter of inquiry that is you, the letter you use for inquiring about a procedure for admission or some membership or a training program or a course or you can uh, do it for tour and travel programs or some services that you want to avail of from someone. Here you have to refer first to the advertisement, the source where you came to know about the service or the admission notice and also specify the needed info that you require. Then you have to conclude politely and request for a very prompt response. The third type of letter is for placing an order. You might place an order for books, magazines, journals, equipment, household goods, sports equipment or gadgets or garments. These kind of uh, letters, first you must refer to the advertisement or where you got to know the source. Then give details of the goods that you are ordering. Also give the mode of dispatch that you like and the mode of payment that you are employing. Again conclude politely and request for a prompt response. This letter might be in another way where you are completing the order, servicing the person. Then you must refer to the letter that you have received, the order letter and give details of the goods that you are sending, how you are sending them and again completely close the letter politely. The fourth type of letter and the most important is job application. As you know, it is for a job application. You are applying for a job and it should have two parts, the covering letter and the bio data. The covering letter should include your uh, reference to the advertisement where you saw the notice for the job application. Specify the post or the designation that you are applying for. Conclude but also tell them that you have enclosed your bio data and other particulars or certificates or testimonials and give details of those. Conclude properly and at the end make a list of enclosures where you make a bulleted list, a numbered list of what you have, what all you have enclosed in the envelope. Your bio data should contain your basic info, information like name, address, contact details, educational qualifications, your experience if any, your hobbies and your strengths. These days you should mention your email ID also. Then the fifth type of letter is a letter of complaint. You might be, you might be wanting to complain against, against a social problem to a specific person or an administrative head or a judicial authority. You might be wanting to complain against poor service by someone privately or publicly or uh, against a defective product. Introduce yourself, give details of the defect or the product, defective product that you have received. Suggest causes of the problem that you seem to know. Also ask for action to be taken and then conclude politely, hoping for a prompt response. These are the type of letters that you will face in the questions.